welcome back to learning storm academy so friends if you haven't subscribed our channel yet so please subscribe it so you can directly get our latest video to you okay so okay, today the topic that we are going to discuss in the details so friend in the last video we discussed about uh, what are literals actually and what are the various types of literal okay so in this video we are going to talk about in which forms okay in how many forms we can assign our integer literals okay so friends let's start with the topic so friend we can actually represent our integral uh, uh, later in uh, multiple forms okay so the very first form is octal form okay we can represent our integral later in the octal form friend okay so the allotted uh, range for it is 0 to 7 okay i can use a number in the range of 0 to 7 okay friend is if i am going to use any other number to this range in that case my compiler is going to throw an error okay so friend always friend an octal number is prefixed by zero okay uh, it is mandatory if i want to present a number a number in octal form then i have to use a uh, prefix it with zero and the other number should be in the range of octal number okay other than that we are going to get an uh, get and compile an error okay friends so let's take some valid statement for it let's see friend here i am assigning a value to my identifier in 0 to 7 6 so friend now we can assume that this is an uh, integer number in the form of octal because we 0 is prefixed with it it means that friend this is an octal number okay and my, my compiler is going to take this value simply and going to convert uh, calculate the corresponding decimal value to its octal number and going to save it okay so this is a valid statement okay so another variation is and this friend this statement is invalid because we are using a value 8 which not comes in the range of the octal number okay friend so this is an invalid statement so friend now it is clear to you i think that whenever i want to specify uh, octal number then i have to mandatory it is mandatory i have to prefix this number with zero and and i have to use a digit which is allowed did only okay so this is the octal form notation okay second form that friend we are going to discuss the decimal letters okay by default friend whenever we assigning any lit value to letter it is in the form of decimals okay so the allowed digit for it is zero to nine okay so by default yeah as i discussed with you okay friend so let's take a simple example x is equal to 10 here friend my compiler is treating it as in which form decimal form okay so i think it is clear to you all okay in another example friend here again my compiler is treating it as a integer number okay there is no need to prefix with any particular character okay with particular code so my compiler will identify it basically basically friend uh compiler by default identify it this kind of expression in which form added uh, integer form okay so other notation friend we have is hexalis literals okay friends so in hexadecimal we can uh, we can, the allowed digits are 0 to 9 and a to f okay friends so it is always prefixed with which 0x in small case and it can be capital case okay these both are allowed uh, both are allowed digits okay so friend let's take an example let's zero see friend we have here an identifier a in which i'm assigning a value zero capital x a b c d so friend it is prefixed with the zero x okay and now we have uh, the values we are using it comes in the range of in, uh, hexadecimal so it means that it is a valid value okay and also the other example is also valid okay because all uh, it is prefixed with the zero x and all the value comes in the range of uh, uh, hexadecimal so it means that it is a valid value okay friend so let's talk about uh, other form that is binary form yes friend we can also represent an integral letter in which form binary form okay friends so the allowed it for it binary form is you know i think it is clear to all zero and one okay friends yeah okay but friend this word this uh this feature is available in which version i uh, 1.7 and the higher version of it okay below it this function will not work okay so keep in mind okay friend so uh, whenever i have to represent my band detail i have to mandate it is mandatory uh, it should be prefixed with 0b or capital 0b okay friends so take some exam few example that here i am assigning a uh, uh 
assigning my integer data in which form uh, binary form okay see this all both same are example are valid okay so friends uh, let's take some example see friend here i am taking a binary number and i am going to compile it okay in that case friend value to this binary value okay see number okay and see then i'm going to get a compile time error that expected because friend after a r is not valid okay so my compiler thinks that my statement is ending here so my friend uh, compiler is demanding a uh, semicolon okay here so that's why we are getting an error that expected it's mean that friend we have to always provide a value in with in the put in range okay that we are using okay so this is the second form okay the third form friend that we are using is the octal form in octal form friends number should be prefixed with zero so it is mandatory okay then the number and the number should be in the range of uh, octal form okay so friend again my compiler is going to convert this number in first in decimal form and then going to give me an out we are getting a valid value according to it again friend if i am going to use a number that is not comes in the range of uh, octal in that case we are going to get an error that uh, floating my number is uh, sorry 